So I have been dropshipping on eBay for a while now to the fact one of our store actually do over 30,000 pound in a sale per month as well. In this video, I want to explain you because a lot of you ask me in a comments then once you're doing a dropshipping on eBay, how do you solve the problem of item location issue and a tracking number issue? Because if you don't solve this problem, there are the chances that your account will get banned. For those of you who are new to eBay dropshipping, let me explain you what the item location issue and a tracking number issue is. So for example, you are dropshipping on eBay using a multiple suppliers. One of your supplier is based in London. One of your supplier is based in somewhere in Scotland. One of your supplier is based in Manchester or in China, wherever. The problem with it, once they provide you a tracking number, regardless of the courier, either it's Royal Mail or Hermes, that tracking number is accepted on eBay. But the problem is going to be with that tracking number. That tracking number is starting from different multiple locations. So once we'll start from London, once we'll start from, let's say, uh, Manchester, Edinburgh, once we'll start from China. So you are actually giving a multiple locations where your item tracking number is starting from ebay do track this so ebay see this that you are drop shipping from a multiple locations which is against ebay terms and condition so they ban your account this is what we call item location issues where ebay allow you to use one supplier as a fulfillment hub but you can't be using a multiple multiple suppliers so if you provide the tracking number on eBay, eBay see this, you are dropshipping from different multiple location and you're not big of a seller where you will have one fulfillment center in London, one fulfillment center in Manchester, or one fulfillment center in China. So they do ban your account. That's the item location issue. The second issue is some of the tracking number are not actually accepted by eBay. So for example, you are drawing dropshipping from Amazon to eBay. Amazon have their own tracking number, which is not normally accepted by eBay. You can't track them anywhere outside of Amazon or you are dropshipping from AliExpress. So Ali AliExpress have their own tracking number as well, which are not normally accepted by eBay and eBay do not allow you to upload those. So once the customer will ask you a tracking number, you can't give them Amazon tracking number or you can't give them AliExpress tracking number as well. If you don't do that, again, eBay ban your account as well. This is the biggest problem in a dropshipping and how I deal with it, I use an application called TrackerBot. Let me explain you how each and everything work. It will solve both of the problem and it actually helped me to be productive as an eBay seller. Let me explain you how it works. So the first thing you sign up for the tracker board, I will leave the link for that inside the description. It's an affiliate link. I will get some commission out of it as well, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you will be helping this channel at no extra cost to you as well. So you sign up for the tracker board and you actually have to link your eBay account with it. So you just click on authorize and continue and that's it job done your account is actually linked with the tracker bot the next thing you have to do is you actually link your gmail account with the tracker bot as well and i will explain the reason further down in the video why you have to link your gmail account as well because that will be really helpful once you're drop shipping from amazon to ebay as well so after that this job is done let me go you inside the tracker board and see how each and everything work in action so right here inside the tracker board this is how everything gonna look like the first thing that i normally do is go to profile and go to your ebay setting right here these are the settings within the tracker board for your ebay store you select your store if you have linked only one store then it will be right here otherwise if you are linking multiple stores it's going to be right here as well so first thing that i will do is i will add an address on a file so once you click on add address right here you can choose the country you can choose just one address so what the tracker bot will does what the the tracking number will always start from this particular address so this is the way the item location issue is going to be solved all the tracking number will start from the address that you will provide right here as well so i will put one address right here the address that you normally use for example uh to to drop ship your product it can be your house address it can be just one fixed address that you have to use for item location uh, address as well so you put that right here with the street postcode each and everything 
And then the next setting that we have, speci especially if you are dropshipping from Amazon to eBay, which I do a lot, is one right here is like convert all tracking number to the Blue Kid Express or convert Amazon carrier tracking number to Blue Kid Express as well. So what I normally do, I convert all of them into Blue Kid Express. And the reason I do that, because one thing you might be confused, what the Blue Kid Express is. So let's say you have a Amazon logistics tracking number, which is not accepted by eBay. The tracker bot use a service called Blue Kid Express, which is accepted by eBay. So your Amazon logistic tracking number will be converted into a Blue Care Express tracking number. So your customer will be able to go on a Blue Care and they will be able to track their item from there. And Blue Care is also accepted by eBay as well. So this is the Blue Care service which they normally use. Uh, for your eBay tracking number. Then I will just convert each and every one of them, either it's a UPS, FedEx, laser chip, because I, I don't want to have a tracking number issues whatsoever. So I normally convert each and every one of them. That normally solves my item location problem. And also the the problem which I normally get once I um, drop shipping from Amazon to eBay as well. So you, all of them, uh, I, I, I will I will just check mark each and every one of them right here. Hermes each and everything, and also the AliExpress one as well. So if you're drop shipping from AliExpress, you can normally just do that uh, right here as well. And then there's the option: add a new tracking number to the existing one, or overwrite with a new tracking number. So I will just put add a new tracking number with the existing one. So because I don't want to have the tracking number, which is let's say Amazon logistic tracking number or AliExpress tracking number. I want to upload mine, which is a Blue Kid Express tracking number. So I will leave that and then mark item as shipped. So depending on like how quickly you ship your item, you can select the number of days which are relevant to you, which is going to be different for different people. So this is the eBay settings that you normally do. Let me show you what actually tracker bot does inside the dashboard. So once you are inside the dashboard right here, so for example, this is the order, which is from Amazon. Once I ordered this product of from Amazon for my customer, I normally get the confirmation of that one inside my Gmail account. So once you order it, the confirmation with the Amazon logistic tracking number will come inside my Gmail account. If you have linked your Gmail account with the tracker bot, tracker bot automatically detect that and it will find the relevant product on eBay and it will upload the tracking number here, which is going to be a blue key tracking number. It's not going to be Amazon logistics tracking number. So tracker bot will convert that into Blue Kid Express tracking number and it will upload that right here inside your dashboard you can see or you can also see uh, inside the eBay as well that all of your tracking number are going to be right here uh, they will be converted. So either if it's a Royal Mail one either it is a, a USB uh, PS or UPS or if even it's an Amazon one all of them will be converted right here and you will be able to clearly see even inside from uh, the, even inside from this porter that where your item is. So for example, this item is delivered, the item was delivered, this item are going to deliver today, uh, these are has been delivered as well. So all of these things you will be able to see right here inside your uh, dashboard. So you, you can actually uh, convert each and everything right here as well. So you can like from the uh, from the date from this date to this date you can like pick up the dates as well and then also you can filter them with the supplier you can filter them with your eBay account you can filter them with your shipping status as well. Uh, orders all of them are Amazon one something which no tracking or tracking received. I mean tons of filters right here as well and then on the top of that, this is the way you actually solve the problem with the tracking number and also on the top of that, the item location issues. But there are 
many more things inside the tracker bot which i personally like and i use them a lot because of the uh, how productive you can be as an ebay seller so if you go to the messaging option right here you have something called auto messaging so you can set up the template once the customer will actually purchase the item it will automatically send them a message once the item will ship it will automatically send them a message once you have a tracking number, even if it's, let's say, Amazon tracking number and it's being converted into Blue Kid Express tracking number, the tracker bot can also convert and then ship the tracking number to your customer. And once the item will be delivered, then the message can be generated at the same time. You normally set that that customer is informed step by step and it automate each and everything on the top of that. The other thing that you do is something called auto feedback. Inside the auto feedback, you can actually automatically leave the positive feedback for the customer. So as soon they will place the order, the tracker bot will leave a feedback to your customer. That can be something done right here, which saves you tons of time on the top of that. The other thing inside the tracker bot is called title builder. And I love this because this is really, really helpful if you need to optimize your listing for the search and discovery. It it helps your sale tons if you really, really optimize your title. So you select the marketplace and then let's say you will put the phrase iPhone cable, just for example, and then you search it and inside the tracker bot, it will actually give you all the keywords which are really, really trending. So for example, iPhone is a good keyword to so use charger. I didn't put the charger in it's saying charger and fast is a really good keyword. A uh, long lead is a really good keyword. So let's say I'm selling a cable, iPhone charging cable or fast charging cable because the fast is also uh, another keyword which I can use on the top of that. Then is it genuine for iPad or USB Type-C, 3.5 milliliter? All of these keywords are really, really helpful right here. And it will generate the title for you right here, you can see. And you can copy this title, which is really optimized title uh, as long as it's obviously relevant to the product that you are selling or selling or you can make some changes right here as well. So this really help to really grow your sale and take it to the next level as well. So these are the really, really good things inside the, the tracker board. What I will do, I will leave the link for them inside the description. Make sure you check it out. It's going to save you tons of time and you will know that your account will not be suspended because of item location issues and you will have a tracking number for each and every product that you're drop shipping from Amazon to eBay. Again, link will be inside the description. Make sure you check it out. If you will have any question, ask me in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer each and every one of them. You take care.